What's all the commotion? It's Johnny Maracas Rock and Roll Riot. Yes, it is. Well, that's my radio show, but this is episode six of Johnny Maracas Rockin' Time Machine, where we travel back to meet the legends and pioneers of rock and roll and rhythm and blues. As always, I'm hanging out in the coolest place in cyberspace, a little club called Maracaville, the modern day home of this podcast, but we're going to leave these fine folks and take a trip through time. All I have to do is put a dime in our magic Maraca jukebox. But first, if you're old enough to remember, the song Fever was a big hit in the late 50s for jazz singer Peggy Lee. But the man who recorded it first was Little Willie John. All right, let's put the jukebox to work. No matter how many times I use this thing, it's bumpy and noisy, but it's all I can afford. There. Okay, we've landed in 1956. It's March 1st, and we're in the studios of King Records in Cincinnati. And it's after hours, so the place is empty. Little Willie John has yet to arrive. He was born William Edward John in Cullendale, Arkansas in 1937. And they moved to Detroit when John was just a young lad. Unlike Little Richard, who was tall, John was short, even as an adult. Johnny Otis, who discovered Etta James, Hank Ballard, and Jackie Wilson, among many others, saw Willie perform at a talent show and recommended him to producer Henry Glover. And when Glover caught John singing with Paul Hucklebuck Williams and his orchestra, that led to a deal with King Records. Little Willie John scored a hit in 55 with All Around the World. He'll keep recording for King until 63, when the company will get fed up with John's violent temper and incidents with alcohol abuse. And then, in 1966, following a show at a club in Seattle, Little Willie John will get into a knife fight that will prove fatal for the other man, and the diminutive singer will be convicted of manslaughter and sent to the Washington State Penitentiary. Susan Whittall will write a biography called Fever, Little Willie John's Fast Life, Mysterious Death, and the Birth of Soul. That will come out in 2011, and the author will suggest that John was innocent, and, as the title suggests, wonder what caused the singer's death. In 1968, Little Willie John will die in prison at the age of 30. Was it pneumonia, a heart attack, or the result of foul play? It remains a mystery. But we're still here in 1956, waiting for a little Willie John to record Fever. And our time is just about up. The magical Maraca jukebox only has enough power for a few minutes of time traveling, and I can feel it pulling me back to the present day. There. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little journey. This was episode 6, and I'll be back with more shows. I'm Johnny Maraca. If you want to know more about me, check out my website, johnnymaraca.com. It has details on my radio show, The Rock and Roll Riot, blogs, and lots more. Johnny Maraca's Rockin' Time Machine is researched, written, voiced, and produced by yours truly, Johnny Maraca. (laughs) 